Good afternoon and happy Halloween! It is about 5 o'clock, so trick-or-treating starts in about an hour, and this is going to be the first year that I'm handing out treats. However, in true toy collector style, I'm not handing out candy. Instead, I'm going to be handing out a bunch of fun, different little toys. Hopefully, everyone that stops by will enjoy it, so I thought I would document setting up and getting ready. Haku, of course, has no personal space. He's just cuddling with me on the couch. Unfortunately, he won't be able to be out with us during trick-or-treat. He's very good with, like, kids and families. However, I'm thinking it'll just be a little too overwhelming for him. Also, I get to show you my costume later on, which I'm so excited about. I made it myself. I been working on it for about a week now. I started it not this past Friday, but the Friday before that. I wore it to work today and it was so much fun. I think everyone really enjoyed it and thought it was very cool and I'm certainly obsessed with it. To get ready though, I need to clear off this table, which includes a small hint of what my Halloween costume is. And I also need to get all of the little toys and little treats up here. Some of them I have to put in baggies, so lots to do within the next 45 minutes. We also have a pizza going in the oven because there is no time for anything else, but this will certainly be good. I have everything tucked away in the basement. Not any of this stuff. This is a lot of My Little Pony I recently got from my collection. A lot of them need some TLC and fixing up, but we'll talk about those in another video. The toys I got for today, everything should hopefully be inside this box here. Oh, and in this bag too. I guess I kind of forgot that I got these. Good thing I put it all together. Otherwise, I uh, definitely would have forgotten what all I had bought. I've got my iPod set up with music and it's the iPod Classic, of course. And then we have a table and I'm going to fill this with everything that we have here. I'm going to try to make it organized, but I doubt it will stay that way. Here's what we've put out. I have more dinos to bag up and more poppets to put keychains on. However, it's already quarter to six, so I'm going to take a pause on this and go get my costume on. I just got my costume. Jake will do a full costume reveal for me in a second, but maybe you can tell what it is by seeing this little piece of it. Jake's currently running around trying to find a costume for Haku. He decided that he would like Haku to come out with us, so we'll see what happens, but I'm ready for trick-or-treaters and I am excited. Here is my full costume. I am a Furby. I made this costume myself and I am very proud of it. I used craft foam, faux fur, and then I 3D printed like the facial features. And it's seven o'clock right now, it's like 7.08, and we just finished doing trick or treat. We did plan on doing trick or treat until eight. However, we ran out of stuff like way early on. I honestly thought that we just bought way too much, but especially like toward the end there, we started running out really fast. I think at like 6.45, we completely ran out of like the little toys. And then we just had Pokemon cards and I finished giving out those a couple minutes ago. Hey, Jakey. No. Hey, Jakey. What? What happens tomorrow? Christmas time. It's Official Christmas time. You better get all that sorted out so you can get a tree up here. November 1st. So this is where the Christmas tree goes. I had this out for making the Furby costume and you can kind of see there's like pink fur everywhere. Since trick-or-treating kind of got cut short for us, I was thinking about putting the tree up early. However, it's tradition to do it on November 1st. So we will do this tomorrow. Haku, all you want to do is play, play, play. It is November 1st, and we are currently doing Haku's favorite thing, which is play with squeaky toys. Trying to help him get all his energy out from the day. And then we will get our Christmas tree out. Still have to clean up the Furby fur. 
Here is the tree set up and ready to go. No decorations yet, but we will deal with that next weekend. I programmed it. We have the twinkly tree, so you can program each light to do whatever you want. And this is like a pastel, like trickle down color effect. I'll probably change it as the season goes on, but this is a fun one to start, especially because I love teals and pinks together. Now that Christmas is squared away, uh, what's next for me in terms of YouTube and videos? Honestly, I don't know. I know that I want to get back into making videos. I really didn't know how, so this video, this vlog, was kind of a good opportunity to sneak back into um, creating content again and showing my face in front of the camera. But truthfully, my mental health was a big reason why I stepped away for a while. And I'm not perfectly feeling 100% yet, but I do really miss being in the YouTube space. So I think I'm going to try to push myself. Plus, I've also like bought a ton of things that I want to show off on this channel. And I'm getting behind, so I'm anxious to move forward. I'll show you a few things. So here is the Magic Mixies Cauldron. I unboxed this. Oh, it's not turned on. I unboxed this in the beginning of October when it was first released. I was really hoping to have a video out about this by now. I did record the unboxing. I just am held up in editing it. I have some Webkins. These are from Mermaid Month. These are also from Mermaid Month. This was not a success. I did not have good luck with these sea monkeys. This is the Japanese Magic Castle. I got this for Mermaid Month, unboxed it, never edited the video. This was for Christmas in July, another Webkins. He will now be for Christmas in December. And then I have lots and lots of ponies. I've been wanting to do something pony related on my channel for a while, and I just haven't quite found the right thing to do. I think pony makeovers would be a ton of fun, and I certainly have a lot of ponies that need help, so maybe that's something I'll work on in the near future. So we'll see where I go next. I definitely have lots and lots of options. I'm now seeing there's a Lego set right behind me that I bought for Mermaid Month, never got around to doing, and of course I have like tons and tons of Tamagotchi to share as well, so we'll see, hoping to find something that's just the right fit to help me get back into making videos, but I really appreciate everyone's patience as I've been away for the last few weeks and hoping to get back into the swing of things soon. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this holiday vlog. I hope you enjoy seeing how we celebrate Halloween as well as our first batch of Christmas decorations. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming content, which I'm very much so looking forward to making. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.